Hello, everyone, and uh, my name is Sergey Sergeyev. I'm from Belarus, Minsk. I'm SharePoint and Microsoft 365 developer and consultant. Love development, uh, GitHub, and uh, all this stuff, you name it. And this demo is about SP formatter. If you don't know what is SP formatter, then at the very beginning I will show and explain what it is and how it works. And then I will demonstrate some new features and improvements which were added at the end of 2020. And also you will see the difference between out of the box formatting experience because uh, out of the box experience uh, was also updated recently. So uh, let's get started. First of all, what is SP Formatter? SP Formatter is a um, Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge, Chromium Edge extension. So you can uh, search and grab it from corresponding um, store. Then you have it available on your browser and then you should click on this small icon. And if you want to use it, you should enable uh, this extension for this particular tab. So uh, currently this extension, this performance is enabled for this tab only. Now you should go to your uh, column, then select format this column. And you, you see this uh, little toggle here. So by clicking, you can enable an um, enhanced version of your uh, column formatting. And what is the difference? First of all, for example, you can change something here and you see that uh, you see a live preview of what you type. It is reflected immediately in your list view. So this is SP Formatter and probably you have noticed it that out of the box experience here and the SP Formatter experience, they look very similar. And that's right because uh, out of the box was updated just a few weeks ago and currently it uses exactly the same user uh, interface element called Monaco Editor. That's the same um, element used by Visual Studio Code internally. And um, it supports um, these uh, highlights, uh, it supports schema uh, intelligence and suggestions. You can fold, unfold, etc. So all this cool stuff now uh, is out of the box. And the question is, what is the difference between SP Formatter, what SP Formatter provides, which additional uh, functionality, etc. So let's see. It. Something I've already shown, so it's a live preview feature. So as you type, it changes the um, uh, the presentation here. Then additionally, in SP Formatter mode, uh, for example, if we are under the styles tag, then we have intelligence for styles as well. So you can type uh, different style properties, uh, and you have suggestions. You have some helper tooltips available as well. Then, if you go if you go to icon name and then change, or if you want to use another icon, then again we have intelligence for icons, so we can easily switch icon. Um, and then, if we go uh, here on the text content, for example, and change it to be uh, an expression like this, then if you type add symbol, then we have also additional intelligence or suggestions for uh, something called replaceable tokens. For example, here I can use my uh, login name or I can use uh, row index, so it changes uh, dynamically. And then additionally, uh, probably you know that you can also use field values inside your column formatting. So if you type a dollar sign, then it suggests you uh, the list of fields available for currently selected list. So it's context aware. For example, I can type amount, then it shows me the value for amount field. If I type, uh, let's say drinks, then it shows me uh, the value of uh, drinks column. Okay, then also this area, you see this area is quite small. That is why I'm in enhanced mode, you have this small icon which uses all available space and you still have an option to, to change the width as you wish. And you have a full screen which is convenient if you have 
um, a lot of lines in your JSON formatting. Um, yeah, so that's the main differences uh, between uh, out of the box formatting. So here, for example, if you, if you try to uh, to see the suggestions for styles, you don't have anything except this uh, content-based suggestions, which is not right. You don't have icon name. You don't have uh, this add uh, suggestions as well. Then the last and probably the most exciting feature uh, that was added recently is VS Code integration mode. And it will be useful mostly for developers or for people who have their own, who have their JSON formatting files under source control system, for example, Git repository. Because normally, if you want to change your JSON, then you open your JSON file here, then you copy, press paste here, then you change something, and then paste back to just your code, which is not very convenient. Now you can use um, VS Code integration mode. So how it works? First of all, for VS Code, you should install the SP Formatter extension. So it's it have uh, has exactly the same name, SP Formatter. Have it installed. Now simply open your. Um, okay, let me actually move it like this, and then this guy. Yeah, like this. Um, then simply open your JSON formatting file, um, right click and select start a new session. SP formatter, uh, start a new session. Now we have in the status bar in the bottom, you see this, uh, the mode is listening. Now if you go here to our browser, so currently I am changing the flow column formatting. Let me move it like this. If I now, if I enable enhanced formatting, then you see that uh, it says that VS Code is connected and we have this uh, file name uh, listed here. And now you can guess what will happen next. Then when I uh, change anything in VS Code, then and all these changes are reflected immediately uh, again in my browser. Uh, moreover, uh, in VS Code, the full IntelliSense, exactly the same level of IntelliSense as available uh, here. Uh, it is also available in VS Code, so I can type um, at symbol and then let's say a current web, so it displays the URL. I can type, type um, row index, etc. so we see it works. And again, if I type dollar, then uh, it uh, inserts the placeholder for field value. Uh, also, these uh, things, they are conte context aware. So if I uh, go to another list, for example, then of course the, the list of fields here in this suggestion will be completely different. Now, if you want to modify um, another column, then simply, uh, let's say drinks. So simply open drinks, JSON, Right click, then select start a new session. Uh, the previous session will be closed automatically. Then select the right column here, drinks, then disable and enable it again so that it's reinitialized. And now we are ready to modify our uh, drinks JSON like this. Um, in order this rich intelligence to work in Visual Studio Code, you should follow two simple rules. Now, the first rule is that your uh, JSON formatting, you should delete schema property from your uh, JSON formatting, because otherwise Visual Studio Code will try to suggest you different values based on the schema property. So if you remove them, the schema uh, will come from extension, from SP formatting extension. And the second rule is that your file should follow some naming conventions. For example, um, here I have uh, all my files using uh, column-format ending. Basically, you can use any of these patterns, column, dash, or dot, then formatter, and, or just format. So if you follow these rules, then you have full intelligence in uh, VS Code as well. And just a few words on how it works under the hood. Under the hood, 
Visual Studio Code extension starts a new uh, web server when you click start a new session, which supports web sockets using socket.io. And then web, a web extension here tries to connect to open a um, web server. And if it is successful, then the, connect, the connection is established. And then Visual Studio Code simply transfers a JSON to the browser. So basically, this is it from my side. Thank you very much. This is just uh, super impressive, Sergey. It's it's mind blowing uh, what you did. Today. Really, really, really cool stuff. Uh, did actually how Microsoft should have done it, maybe, but uh, you kind of just brought it to a new level. So really great, awesome stuff. Mm -hmm.